Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagandha Mysore. So let us today understand Indra Yoga. It's a peculiar yoga. Let us understand what the peculiarity is. See, the criteria for the yoga is that the fifth and the eleventh lord, the fifth lord and the eleventh lord have to exchange houses, which is also known as Parivartana Yoga. So, the fifth and the eleventh lord exchange houses. That is, the fifth lord is posited in the eleventh house and the eleventh lord is posited in the fifth house. The second one is, and we need moon to be posited in the fifth house. That is, along with the eleventh lord. So, let us understand what this is. Let us take any example, but actually, I would want to do for uh, several uh, ascendants to understand. Why this particular point, the fourth point, if you can, people can read, less longevity. In the classics, they have given it very less longevity, less than Madhyayu, that is 50 years or less than that. So, let us understand, the, the other things are very good. Indra Yoga makes the person extremely famous, a very known, very well known person for his virtues, high status, luxury, well-to-do person with all facilities and uh, very rich. So, let us understand this yoga more intricately with, you know, intricately with the positions. So, uh, let us take any of the, let me take this. So, the fifth lord, one, two, three, four, five is Mercury and the eleventh lord is Jupiter. So let us exchange that. That is, we are putting the mer mer putting Mercury here, and we are going to write Jupiter here, right? And we need to place Moon along with Jupiter. On the outlook, this looks like a huge chart of a strong Raja Yoga. The fifth lord is Mercury. It has gone to the eleventh house in the Labasthana. Mercury in the Labasthana, a great position. The eleventh lord, Jupiter, going to the fifth house. Uh, well, Vidyasthana. And there you are having Gnana Karaka, that is the lord of wisdom. Vidyasthana is the lord, the house of education or higher learning. And you are having a Gnana Karaka or the Lord of Wisdom, that is Jupiter. And you also have Moon along with Jupiter. So that gives rise to Gajakesari Yoga. This is a super duper Raja Yoga, Gajakesari Yoga. Then how come, see this, this, ultimately this particular position tells that this is a great, strong Yoga. See it a little closely, you will understand that Ju that Mercury is also the eighth lord. Moon is the sixth lord. Jupiter is the eleventh lord, which is sixth from sixth. Rogat, Rogasthana Adipati, which also indicates ill health. Moon indicates Roga, that is disease. Mercury indicates Ayu, that is longevity. And second house, that is the Lord, which is also Jupiter, indicates as a Maraka. So, this combination, though it is giving rise to a huge Raja Yoga, is also a Yoga which is going to become a Maraka for the native. Let us take another uh, ascendant. Let us simply try to understand ascendants. In case, if we are, you know, we get some ascendant which will really, you know, defy the rules of this yoga and tell that. Okay, let us go to an ascendant. Let us take Mars. Just like that. So, the fifth lord, one, two, three, four, five, is sun. So, the fifth lord sun to be placed in the eleventh house. So, the dispositor, eleventh lord, that is... Saturn 
to be placed in the fifth house. Good. And we have moon, the fourth lot, to be placed in the fifth house. Now, if you again go through it in a deeper sense, you can see that this is a nearly a Pornami chart and you have this combination of Saturn and Moon which makes it a very tough placement. All other things are great, famous, high status, very well known, all things are great but when you see this combination, you will feel it is a tough combination. So let us go to another ascendant. So Indra Yoga has been discussed in many epics as one of the one of the great yogas, but with very less longevity. Let us take this ascendant of Mars. So the fifth lord, one, two, three, four, five, is Jupiter. So we will place it in the eleventh house. And the 11th Lord, Mercury, gets debilitated, you know, it gets debilitated in Pisces, which is its, which is the 5th house. And then we need to put Moon there. Again, it gives rise to Moon and Jupiter giving rise to Gajikesri Yoga. A very strong yoga, but once again, we have a slight problem here. The problem here is the eighth lord becomes Mercury, which is for Ayu, that is longevity. And here it is involved. So again, it hits here. So let's go to another palm, ascendant. Just check over once again. Let us check another ascendant. Let us take uh, Libra. So the fifth lord is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Saturn. So let us put it in Leo and again put Sun here and we will put Moon. A strong, strong yoga, a person with lot of determination, an amavasya, nearly, it might not be an amavasya, a close position to the sun, it might be a pratami or a dvitiya or it might be a trayodashi or a, not trayodashi, chaturdashi or, or amavasya. So, this is a very strong position of sun and moon in the fifth house makes the person highly determined. But you can also see the sun being the 11th lord, being the 11th lord is along with the 10th lord and this is 10 plus 11 here and here the 11th lord sun will give roga because wherever you see the 11th lord which is the 6th from 6th, this is the one which controls the diseases. So, we should understand from this chart that from this yoga, Indra Yoga, that when the Parivartana Yoga, that is the interchange of the 5th and the 11th Lord happens, it is a great thing. It will give rise to great uh, intellectual progress and super virtue. But because the moon is also getting involved here, which gives extraordinary imagination. But moon being an alpayu, moon is for alpayu. That is one third of the regular Ayu, that is longevity. So let us take another uh, Lagna, just like that, because we did not feel that we left out Venus. I will take the ascendant of Gemini. So we have the fifth Lord, Venus, posited in the 
11th house with the 11th lord mars being posited in the 5th house and moon being posted here so now again we know that the 5th lord because of the, the dual lordship you are able to understand this if you understand the duality of lordships mars is also the 6th lord this is the second lord moon which becomes a maraka maraka and is also the 12th lord which one venus so we have 6th 2nd and 12th getting involved though it is the 5th 11th and 2nd though it is the 5th 11th and 2nd we need to also see that they are the 12th 6th and 2nd lords also so the duality of lordship is hitting here but on the whole this is one of a great yogas fantastic yogas where a person will gain a lot of knowledge lot of experience lot of fame in young age we call them child prodigy and these people are famous people like great religious saints like um, uh, you know people who have carved path at a very young age and they have shown the world that this is how you have to live this life so this is indra yoga so thank you very much for today's class